thing. I oh. fell off the little mini bike three mini times. ATV. Mini oh. ATV, and each time I hit the back of my head. Oh. Dang. And then Just by the third going. one, my vision was all white. <laughs> I was like, I gotta stop. Yeah, that's <laughs> not right. Yeah. <laughs> like this, now it's, well, I, I was... I think someone was there, like, and they saw me, and I like was just crawling, and I couldn't see anything. It's like, oh, okay, oh, we're done. Like, That's scary. <laughs> it was very minor. It, okay. it went away. Oh, good. But he's I'm... already hearing angels. And... <laughs> <laughs> I see the pearly gates. I'm yeah. walking yeah. towards the light. No, the pearly gates. It's Ike floating down. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then John pulls you yeah. back. To You'll her. be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine, buddy. <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> we love you, Ike. Boom. <laughs> Uh huh. I'm not gonna do it this time. Oh, yeah, this time. I haven't written down these. Okay, here we go. Let me find my. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Uh. Happy New Year, my dude. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. What's up, everybody? This is Jason over at Go Power Sports. We are at the Go Power Studios, which I have now dubbed this spot because still GPS Go Power Studios. But either way, we are here on a special edition. Um, I'm like I said, I'm Jason. I'm with my main man, Zane, making sure that I stay in the lane. I got Bernie's on the ones and twos and live. Sometimes even the threes and fours. Sometimes the threes and fours. Yeah. There probably are four or five cameras going on. At this point, I think we're running six simultaneously. Bernie Cam back there. One through six. And we have a special guest today, Bill Brick Repeat, the Bondi Brothers. Thank you. Jason and Joe, thank you so much for coming out and gracing us. Absolutely. Is it a little cold out there? It is a little cold out there. I love that jacket. Thank you. Did you guys snowmobile over here? We don't have a snowmobile yet. Oh. Surprisingly, we hard have to find in yeah. Texas. Is this an eBay find? I think so. Either eBay or Depop. Depop, but what's Depop? We had a phase it's, uh, where just like uh, used clothes. It's uh, like Goodwill, but online. Okay. But nice, like but more valuable. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like it. Very fashionable. Instead of old, it'd be vintage. Yeah, vintage. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So for those who do not know the Bondi brothers, they run a YouTube channel, Build, Break, Repeat. They have been getting into some quite awesome stuff. You can see them at a bunch of our shows. They have the rotary bike. They put a lot of huge engines on small little go-karts as mm-hmm. well, which we will get into. Then you guys are at Go Power Sports, the 180 mini bike race back That's in right. November. You had to tell me from start to finish, how did you guys do? This was my third... 180. The first one was at the other motorsport ranch. Texplex. Texplex. Awesome place. Not yeah. around anymore. But um, that one I did, I think, about 18 laps. Pretty slow. I got off the line last out of everybody because the bike didn't start up. First I remember pull. that. And then I got lost. So I think my first lap was like a half lap where I just cut through the middle because <laughs> I didn't know where to go. <laughs> There's nobody to follow. I did about 18 laps. And then my last lap before time ended, I dumped the bike. Oh, no. And broke a bunch of stuff. I broke the petcock off the gas tank. Carb fell off, sucked in a bunch of dirt. I mean, that's because I got really tired pretty sloppy you're doing it solo yeah i was doing it solo and oh i went off the side of the track a little bit and there's a big old clump of dirt no just boom popped over popped over and uh so that's kind of sad finishing the race on the trailer yeah not on the bike 18 laps is pretty good though that was all right yeah yeah so how'd you do on the second one the second one i was also doing it solo because jason had just had his shoulder surgery Mm. still recovering i think i only did about 10 laps and um Front tire debuted it completely mm. on the power line section. I mm. think what happened is I got kind of got squeezed in between two rocks, and we were in a rush to prepare for the race, so we didn't check the tire pressures. So okay. it was a little low, and the tire got pinched, came off the bead, got it towed back. That took a while, and then we got it rebeaded, went back out, and then the, like two laps later, I got a giant mesquite thorn through yeah. the rear wheel, and it just wouldn't hold air. We tried Dang. patches, we tried. I think we put like a half a bucket of slime in there and it would hold there for a little bit and then you'd like spin it over, you know, get the slime worked in and then that seal would break loose and it just shoot slime out oh, the back. No. So 
I feel like that almost gets into like a wacky racers kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like you could just start leaving a slime trail slime to trail. stop your <laughs> opponents, right? <laughs> Slick them off the trail. Slick yeah. them, yeah. Yeah, we could definitely do some type of like a those little tire spike that drop out of oh, the back yeah. of the James Bond <laughs> car. Oh, yeah. Caltrips. Mm -hmm. Also known as crow's feet. Crow's feet. Nice. Yeah. So how did you do this last year? It was a lot better, I would say. Did you guys um, split time? We, we did. We did both ride together. Jason put down a pretty fast lap time, somewhere in the eights. Nice. Wow. Was, nice. According impressive. to our time, it was eight flat. Nice. But Good job, eight, man. Zero. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Which was very faster than a lot of people I watched. I think I got a benefit because it was the very last lap, so there wasn't too many passing. Okay. So I did pass yeah. maybe two people. Yeah. Mm. I think my average lap time was like a ten. So just so medium yeah. pace yeah. for me. It just, yours went pretty smoothly, but then I got out there and didn't know the course, and there was this one turn. One of the, the the Power Sports employees was sitting there, and he's like, "Dude, you're going faster than anyone I've ever seen on that corner," <laughs> and that's the corner. And I know why because I. It's called Death's Corner. Going, yeah, went down into like a rut. There was a big rock, and the steering wheel or the bars went boom. I flew over. Oh, oh no. no! I landed on the back of my head like. I like, didn't know you ate it. <laughs> yeah, I landed like this, and then like there, oh. and then I was like super dazed. Turned over, the bike was still running. Crawled over to it, shut it off, and like dragged it off the edge. Oh my goodness! We got back, got the engine running again, and then I was like, dude, I gotta do another lap. <laughs> and then that was the eight-minute lap. Yes. Nice. You were all fired So you went up. even faster the next <laughs> Way time. Faster. <laughs> well, the first lap, I went off the track three times. Oh, okay. On the big hairpin turn, I was going really fast. Mm. I, oh, I actually man. had the throttle a little bit when I was hitting the brakes. Pushed through, hit a tree in the face, and then I whiskey throttled and kept going. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> no. I was out of control. So we're really experienced riders. <laughs> it sounds like That's it. something. We build a lot of stuff, and I think on four <laughs> wheels we're good, but put us on two and yeah. we're not not skilled I mean, at we've all. really only been riding mini bikes for like yeah. four or five <clears throat> years and not as yeah. often as we well, should our first mini bike was the Ra little rascal nope it was the mega moto the um, white one that you guys gusted at the back that oh yeah one? um it was that one yeah it turned into that later on that was 2019 we've only been riding mini bikes for like four, four or five years, years yeah. Yeah. So now, j just because uh, I'm newer to this stuff, how long have you guys been running your channel? 2017 February 2017 was the first video. Okay, wow. And it wasn't mini bike or go kart related. It was a Jeep. Yeah. Oh, it was my engine swap and my Jeep Cherokee. Okay, that's dope. But YouTube had an auto stabilization feature at the time. Okay, I don't know if you remember those days. No, <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> like the footage just like heaves and like goes like this. It's oh trying to goodness, compensate yeah. for the camera shake. Yeah, that video is almost unwatchable. Yeah, everyone's like, "Why are you filming through Jello?" Yeah, it actually looks like those drunk goggles. Yeah, it probably looks like what those look like. So is that how you wanted to start your channel out, just doing like Jeep upgrades or car upgrades, or you're just like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I might as well film it. I think yeah, we were just our like, mom, this is a big job. We should yeah. film it. Our mom was really pushing us. She was like, you should just film it, and we're like, sure. Now, are you guys video videographers by trade at all? No. So why would she even recommend you guys even film it? Did she have a camera? Did you? Oh, no. <laughs> did someone own a camera? <laughs> our dad loved filming it. stuff, okay. so he would film all of our family events. Yeah. So I guess it. it was kind of taking that route, maybe. I think yes. our first I ask her. camera was a Cool Picks. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm definitely familiar yeah, with the Cool Picks. About this big. Oh, um, nice. Like a 720p quality. I don't okay. Think it was that high. The mic. Um, you'd hit the, you know, you could blow out the mic very easily oh, by yeah, talking yeah. too loud. <laughs> Is that what you filmed the first video with? That's, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, was, really? We used iMovie. Okay. Yeah. Wow, nice. Or was it Windows Movie Maker? Movie Maker. Maker. Movie Maker, yeah. So you guys have definitely evolved <laughs> then. So what do you, who does most of the editing? I do. All of the All editing. the editing now, yeah. And are you also cameraman as well? I'm usually cameraman. Okay. What do you use? So we had a Canon 60 Mark II. That was our camera for the longest time. And then I think last year we upgraded to the Sony a7 III. Nice. Very popular that choice. A big difference. Yeah. Yeah, we can shoot 4K now. We can do slow motion. Couldn't do that on the 6D. Okay. Yeah. And then the software. Software Premiere Pro. I have the whole Adobe Cloud. Yeah. It's pretty useful if you're doing They got you. Like, uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of expensive, but... I mean, you get Illustrator or I make mm -hmm. all our shirt designs and stuff. The logos I made on Illustrator, 
You go Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop for the thumbnails. So nice. I have a nice little workflow there. Did you go to school for any of this, or did you learn on YouTube? This was on YouTube <clears throat> and just on the side. Although with school, I did do architecture school. So you learn how to do Illustrator and Photoshop for, like, renderings and mm -hmm. stuff or, like, putting your presentation boards together. So, yeah, I just kind of, when I get bored, I would draw mini bikes on Illustrator. So this is a side job for you guys. What is y'all's main main job? So Jason, I'll let you start. I'm an engineer at Toyota. Okay. So I'm on a... Oh, ha sorry, happy Toyota-thon. Oh, yeah. yeah. To those is who that, celebrate. <laughs> major is that a, holiday. So explain, is that a December thing? Or? Oh, yeah. Alexis. Oh, no, people say it's like, because it, there's, uh, they say happy Honda days, mm -hmm. and then there's Toyota-thon, and so people are like, well, you know, what do I say if it's someone also, says happy Honda days to me, but I celebrate, <laughs> celebrate Toyota-thon. So. So, so, so Ford Truck Month. This is also Ford. I thought Tuesday or February is Ford Truck Month. Oh, I'm sorry. What is that? <laughs> I'm not a practicing okay. Ford Truck Month <laughs> guy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm like a reform Ford yeah. celebrator. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's well, Lexus d December to remember. December to remember oh, for Lexus. Yeah. How could I forget bow. that? It's big mm -hmm. bow. I forgot it. I just yeah. looked it up. Right? <laughs> I worked there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool job, and it's pretty applicable to building things, mm -hmm. to engineering. Well, the, the cool part is you get to drive prototypes. Yeah. And they're very expensive prototypes. I mean, imagine build a car, you know. How do you, how do you yeah. build it? It's going to cost a lot of money. Oh, yeah. for sure. So pre-production yeah. are very expensive. So got like a little special license I have that I went to Arizona to train for and drive some cool stuff. Dang, That's man. dope, man. That for now, really I don't know what the next cars are going to be. Oh, yeah. So. Hover cars. Probably. Yeah. yeah. yeah just an EV tall vehicle or something. There's a lot of EVs oh, coming okay. out. Nice. Just in general, so. The car you have out there, that's not any, that's not. That's a production it? car. Okay. And is that gas powered? Yeah. That's okay. a, it's called the GR Corolla. It's a three cylinder gas. Mm. Got 300 horsepower. Okay. Turbo. It's pretty fast. Yeah. All it's got drive. a big turbo, turbo lag. Nice. And interesting. interesting. Very fun. Would you say that you then do the drawing engineer type work for those prototypes or? So I do the paperwork engineer type okay. stuff All for right. now. Starting at the bottom, okay. uh, you, you kind of get graduated to more complex. Oh, for oh, sure. Okay. You got to so understand the, the ground yeah. floor of it. So right now it's more having an engineering background helps me manage the projects and development of projects, but I'm not the one that's like designing and doing calculations on it. Usually. You're not Tony Starking it. Yeah. You're uh, Pepper Potsing it. I don't know who Pepper Potts Oh, is. man, that's his... <laughs> that's, that's, that's his gal Friday. <laughs> so. It's probably a really good reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a really good reference if Just you're laugh. if you're nerdy you and also 10 years older. It. So, yeah. <laughs> Our division in Plano is just accessories. So, roof racks, exhaust, intakes... Spoilers, spoilers, bumpers, wheels, bumpers. underbody stuff. Mm. I have wheel locks, which is really thrilling. So yeah, nice. That's, that's me. And I do architecture. I work at an architecture firm, design mostly hospitals. Oh, nice. okay. Sometimes pharmacies, sometimes vet clinics. Restaurant. Did a restaurant recently. Projects for the Texas Rangers because we're right by the ballpark. So nice. School stuff. It's pretty interesting. Always working on different projects, and yeah, we have a good little mix going. I can be designer, and he can be engineer. Yeah. So we got we all, all the bases yeah. covered. All the yeah. bases covered. Editing, visual, paint, style, mm -hmm. engineering. We oh, got a guy. Yeah. We always <laughs> got a guy. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. are the guys. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see YouTube still playing a major role in, on your side projects? Do you still feel like doing... Still, I feel like doing yeah, videos. I mean, we have a video list and project backlog. It'd probably take us three years to get through. Okay. If we didn't buy any if more we didn't projects, buy any more stuff, we could yeah. probably have three years of content. And just to be honest, we're gonna buy more stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> knowing you guys, yeah, uh, yeah. it seems. Yeah. When it's three a.m. and you're in Facebook Marketplace, do you guys live together? Game. Uh, you, we're living at home. I recently did a house renovation project. Okay. So first you, home, a lot of work. The house was from 55. Nice. And it was one owner, so elderly couple that lived there. So it needed a lot of updating. Okay. And that's pretty fun. I thought about filming it, but then filming makes everything take like twice as long. Oh, for sure. And you just want to finish, you know, and go home. You don't want to be setting up your tripod when you're trying to, you know, yeah. 
do drywall work or whatever. So, yeah. so actually, I, and I'm curious about this, and I know Bernie and I have both experienced this. Is uh, and I'm sure you have too, where you have projects that you want to work on, and then you're like, well, if I'm not going to film it, what's the point of working mm. on it? Do you guys have projects like that where you're like, you've you've held off on working on them because you can't film them or you don't have the time to film them, or do you ever just say like, f it, I'm just going to go jump in and do this thing and build it for myself, and then I'll just talk about it later. I think we do that for parts of builds and not okay. whole builds. Okay. Like, yeah. I love not filming. <laughs> it's awesome. Because <laughs> it, it just takes so much more time. Yeah. And then Joe's yeah. sitting there filming me, and I keep messing up a line for, like, 50 takes. Yeah. And I just keep saying the same thing over and over. Yeah. yeah I not. like not filming. But I also like filming because then we can share. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to it. First of all, the hobby almost pays for itself. Yeah. And we do a lot of weird, expensive engines, so that is great. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we can kind of share, meet people, experiences such as this. So it's a lot of benefits, and all you got to do is film, and he has to yeah. edit. So the latest video I just caught up is you guys took a Trailmaster Mini XR XR mm -hmm. Plus, which in my opinion is the best go kart for kids. <laughs> it's a really good go kart for kids. <laughs> but it looked awesome. So what did you do from top to bottom? What did you do to this Trailmaster Mini? So... Well, we first got the frame from you guys. Check out Go Power Sports if you want the best kids go kart. <laughs> it actually is really awesome. It's just like sweet. oh wait, sorry, Stop. link up here. Yes, yeah. thank Hit you. Up. I almost wait, forgot. Oh, is the, oh, it's, oh, it's going over there. It's moving. Wait, it's no, definitely it's going back. Back. We'll find it. <laughs> okay, got right. it. Good. I hate when those things fly around. Man, it's tough to it's tough to pin them down. Sometimes. Sometimes we just get a blow dart gun. Just <laughs> 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 pin them to the ceiling. But um, it's actually a really nice cart. Yeah. If we were, like, two feet shorter... Oh, we'd be... All over. All I'm over sure. that yeah. Yeah. I would take it to the 180. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We will be doing a wheelie with both of us in it. We are. We are. I don't know how you guys could fit off. in we, there. We've, we figured it out kind of, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. But we can do it. That yeah. would be... I, I can't wait to see that. We're not and doing the... locate one hip, yeah. and then you can kind of <laughs> fold that leg under and squeeze in there. <laughs> But um, is that the one that you guys had that video of you uh, crash, uh, fully wheelie, crashing yeah. on it? Yeah. <laughs> People love that. So I've been saying we need to crash more, and then we'll just use the proceeds from the videos to pay for medical expenses. Yeah. So you know? with that mini, did you put on a new live axle? New live axle, yeah. yeah. Actually, the stock one, it's like tapered, tapers down or it steps down, mm -hmm. and so we couldn't use the this existing lines. bearing. So we got the li whole live axle kit, chopped off the bearing hangers. Put the new ones on, live axle. We put the tallest street yeah. tires we could find on the back. Yeah. Eights, yeah, and we just put smaller front tires on it, so it's even more <laughs> preloaded. Yeah, yeah. for it's like got a that forward buggy. rake. Yeah, yeah. nice. So yeah, good. on that build, we had the snowmobile, two cylinder, two stroke yep. snowmobile motor. Did a rebuild because it had a uh, leak, crankcase leak. Mounted that. Then we mounted a jack shaft for the driven pulley. Yeah, driver. the, the the torque converter. Yeah. Then that goes over, goes down to the live axle we added. And then from there, we really just had to relocate some brackets and put mm -hmm. the shocks in the middle. Yeah. It's pretty simple. It looks like a it's very soft ride. I see you guys drop it from so mm -hmm. high and it just it's lands good. So, yeah. so softly. And I'm actually, glad. what's cool about that engine is we got that at the, um, not the pull start picnic, but the, was it the 70th anniversary or 60th, right? Mm. Oh, last was it? two Julys ago? Yes. Okay. Uh, it was from the 60th where? anniversary from yes. yeah. Eddie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think you know Eddie. He's got Eddie that Sanchez. little. Yep. Yeah. He had it. He sold it to us. Two hundred bucks. Nice running engine. Really cool. And uh, that's what's on it. We did have to tune it up, and, and it stopped running. It did stop running because yeah, the CDI box died. And you guys had to get that replaced. It was replaced. One hundred seventy dollars. Yeah. Which is oh, just as much as your almost engine. as much yeah. as it. <laughs> it that hurt. That hurt. Yeah. yeah. They're so rare. No one has them. Yeah. So the purpose of this mini was just to do wheelies. That mm -hmm. was the goal. I that mean, was it. So maybe we'll get more into this when we go back to like the how we got started. But um, me, Jason, and Daniel, our third member, when we came here for the first time, we saw the Mini XRX, and we were like, we need to get one of these and make it do giant wheelies. And well, then it was kind of like it started with we need to put a 420 on yeah. it, and we're like that'd be so fast. Yeah. Then it was like we need to put a 670 on it, that'd be fast, and it'd do wheelies. <laughs> And then now we have this, which has even more power. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we upgraded with our yeah. the <laughs> years with went by. Yeah. Yeah. But it was something that would come up. Like we'd get on Facebook, we'd be like, look for a mini XRX. And then we would just, like when we brainstorm ideas, we're like, we should do the mini XRX. 
And sometimes we'd see one and we'd get excited and we're like, oh, that's the mid XRX. <laughs> the <laughs> medium <laughs> size. We want the small one. <laughs> so we ended up doing it. I told Tim and Dave, and I was like, if y'all ever get one that's like returned or messed up, give it to us. And then they had one with no engine, nothing, exactly yeah. what we needed. It's perfect. Boom. So. And so how long did that how long has that project been going on? Like the actual working on it? Longer than I'd like to admit. Actually, has it <laughs> it's been a been year? year. Yeah. It's been wow. an entire year. Been okay, year. that's a long term project. We only worked on it for maybe like three weeks after work. Mm. So, okay. And that's been like the back three burner. to four hours. So yeah. it's yeah. not many hours into it, but a very mm-hmm. long time. Yeah. So you tuned the engine, you got it to where it can do wheelies. You want to describe your, your test run because. I feel like I see that common spot, which I want to talk about your spot as well, which is nuts. You're always out in that alleyway, and I feel like you guys are always wrecking wheelies right there. <laughs> that is what happens. We do have more than right. one, yeah. So, yeah, no, d- yeah, definitely tell me more about the wheelie and yeah. the wreck. So, I've never, you never sit that far back, no. ever, in a go-kart or anything. So, it just keeps going and going, and you're like, oh, I think I'm flipping. And then eventually it like hit, and I was like, oh, okay, we're good. And then half a second later, it just went boom and threw me. <laughs> yeah, it was not. The issue he was not good. <laughs> that when you sit in a mini XRX and you're 6'2", like me, your knees have to go really far out like this. Oh. So my knee was the impact point. This is what oh, hit first. Yeah. No. So when it flipped, it, it actually caught a little air. Like the back tire went up off the ground. It kind of was like, and then it and oh so for God. those keeping track at home at this point uh jason has said that he has uh hit his head his shoulders mm-hmm. his knees and so toes is the only thing we need to complete bingo on this one <laughs> yeah i i did i did uh, sprain my ankle so that's pretty close that's close yeah. we're getting closer uh, yeah dirt bike so okay that was on a video oh good <laughs> sorry to hear that <laughs> so then it wasn't successful because you ate it so what are you going to do it was successful oh it was successful yeah. we did just a big wheelie got a, we got a massive wheelie and a lot of so how do you master it now so, the reason that the wheelie went wrong is because we had our buddy daniel with us and it was kind of getting late and we were excited to test drive it for the first time and we didn't tighten the wheelie wheels on and so you sacrificed so, a life <laughs> for not Jason looking over the nuts and bolts goes and does a test lap and one of the wheelie bar wheels rattles off. <laughs> and so when he does the wheelie, you can see it. The sparks fly off because yeah. one side's got the wheel. It's good. The left side oh, no. scrapes the ground, digs into the concrete. And I think that's what caused yeah, that. That'll do it. Side yeah. slam to occur. Mm-hmm. Okay. So since we've already talked a little bit about some of the projects that have gone wrong, what has been the scariest thing that's happened while you guys have been in pursuit of making the fastest, weirdest vehicles. Well, um, there was the garage door incident. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, that was our first metal go-kart we ever built. Okay. It was called Barracuda. Barracuda. You want me to tell it since you weren't even there, right? Yeah, you, I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I wasn't there. I, I'm absolved from all blame. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I had no part in this. So, me and Daniel were building. This was our first, second go-kart ever. Um, mm-hmm. First, we did Mayhem, which was the wooden one. Then we did Barracuda, which was the white kind of racing cart made out of yeah. like pipe. schedule 40 yeah, schedule Home 40 Depot pipe, pipe and a oh, carbon freight nice. bender carbon freight and hydraulic bender <laughs> yeah so yeah we we did that one so we actually zip tie the throttle down mm-hmm. so we started off of course first test drive we don't have brakes no <clears throat> brakes got it and we hadn't tested it so throttles down torque converter kicks in starts launching me <laughs> but i'm trying to like turn off the engine i can't find the kill switch he's in a cul-de-sac by yeah. the way so by the time i turn around i'm basically going up this person's driveway oh, towards nice. their house oh no so it was either i had three options was i mean i could try and turn i didn't know go kart so i didn't know if i could make the turn or not so I was like okay we're going straight we have small garage door and then a two garage door and i was like okay we're going for the calm in the middle <laughs> so i didn't want to go through the door because if there's i mean if there's a car there yeah, you know, that could be the end of me. Yeah. So I hit the column, like boom, bent the steering shaft up. Yeah, with his chest. Yeah, oh his my chest goodness. bent the steering Jeez. shaft. Like. And then, um, yeah, we derailed their garage doors, and it was a structural column. So yeah. then they had the to, column like, actually jack. got pushed. Back. Oh my goodness! They had to jack up the house and cast concrete <laughs> yeah. column, split in half, like shattered. <laughs> and what was Did really you have to funny? Pay for this? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Well, the really funny thing is that. The go-kart, so besides the steering shaft being bent from his chest hitting the steering wheel, 
there's like one little like, pea-sized dent in the front of the cart. That was the only dent. Oh, like to the frame. Inch, maybe an eighth inch. Yeah, deep little dent <laughs> crease. And yeah, that, was it. that schedule forty is pretty thick. Yeah, but wow. yeah, Daniel's dad uh, worked with hotels, managing hotels, and he had a lot of contacts. He knew someone that he called in a favor. They <laughs> probably someone wanted the big next hotel contract, so they flew them in the next day. Mm -hmm. They fixed it for like basically free, like. And nice. then we're gone. Yeah, wow. I think they estimated it would have cost ten grand. Oh, so we got yeah. really lucky. It would yeah. have been a big issue. So always start your projects on jack stands for oh, the first so time. Oh, yes. against yeah. a solid yeah, object. Yeah, a solid <laughs> object. We jack up every build. Don't no. yeah. don't Still. aim it at your neighbors. Or house. have or have <laughs> friends who owe you favors. I think that's yeah. the other takeaway that's here. Other <laughs> know a guy. You gotta know a guy. You gotta know a guy. So. They did a really good job fixing it, and that really helped the situation because, yeah, their cars were trapped in their garage because it was derailed the garage oh, doors. Yeah. And, I mean, they, they just come out the house because they hear a loud bang, and then Jason's there like, <laughs> <laughs> No hospital for you? No, it wasn't. I, barely, I don't even remember having a bruise. Oh, man. I mean, I'm sure I did, but his lungs are just a couple <laughs> inches further back. <laughs> It's a steering wheel mark. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just scar tissue is in the full <laughs> steering column. Yeah, so uh, that one was pretty bad. I mean, I I actually I broke my thumb because I I rolled <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a go kart. Oh, is that not cool can enough I, for you? Can I tell the story? Yeah, you can tell. Okay, the story. So, is that not cool enough? Oh, <laughs> broken yes, that's thumb. That's cool. Yeah. This was the I, dumbest. Okay, if I could throw this out there, I think next time open with that okay, and then go and then into this one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe start with the lamest and then build to the coolest. So, gotta so the cut once. <laughs> we had our our first wheelie cart. We put a 420 with a torque converter and mm -hmm. we just did wheelies with it. Yep. Yard so, cart. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. it had slicks on the back, slicks up front, just like grippy tires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we see, me and Daniel are sitting way back. We're in a church parking lot, which That's is where, where we used to drive. drive every day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we only got in trouble once, but. So we see him doing like a, going in circle, and we're like, oh. And then we see him going a little bit faster. <laughs> we're like, dude, is he trying to do a donut? And then me and Daniel were just like, dude, he's so dumb. Okay. <laughs> so it's going faster and faster. <laughs> and then just, doosh. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Just flipped it, it and just I landed. Grabbed. Yeah. I landed like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was like, he's not doing donuts. Like, I just need to break those wheels loose and just get out of yeah. a little faster. <laughs> he just floored it, just floored it, <laughs> cranked it. Oh, no. And then it, <laughs> it didn't break loose. It actually. Is that videoed? Um, no. I don't think that was video. No, sadly, no. Yeah. You know, I mean, I also, I also flipped a vehicle. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, luckily, I. <laughs> this is one of those things where the story is very different from our perspectives because I'm just like, I didn't really like. I had some bruises and bangs, mm -hmm. and but then like I was like running around trying to fight because like Bernie, Bernie ended up having broken ribs and stuff. Ooh, yeah, ooh. but now he always wears his seatbelt whenever we drive together, so it's great. Yeah. And a helmet. There you go. It's a and learning, a helmet. Yeah. Learning yeah, whenever I'm walking next to Zane, <laughs> <laughs> it's really the safest way to live. Uh, yeah. All the gear, all the time. You know. Right. I'm trying to think of other bad ones. I mean, we've had a lot of wheels fly off when we went to Cars and Cameras place Concussion. for the. Dust Bowl 500. Yeah, oh, yeah. is that we had like five, six YouTubers out there yeah. racing? Mm -hmm. A lot of YouTubers. And you guys, you got thrown off the thing? I fell off the little mini bike three times. Mini time. ATV. Mini oh. ATV, and each time I hit the back of my head. Oh. Dang. And then Just by the third going. one, my vision was all white. <laughs> I was like, I gotta stop. Yeah, that's <laughs> not right. <Yeah. laughs> like this, now it's, well, I, I was... I think someone was there, like, and they saw me, and I like was just crawling, and I couldn't see anything. Just like, oh, okay, oh, we're done. Like, that's scary. <laughs> it was very minor. It, okay. it went away. Oh, but good. He's I'm... already hearing angels. And like, I see the pearly gates. It's I'm walking towards like, the light. Crawling yeah. the pearly gates. It's Ike floating down. Yeah. Your boy. And, then, and then John pulls you yeah. back. To You'll her. be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine, buddy. Give me your hand. <laughs> we love you, Ike. Dang. Well, okay, so that that might be the thumbnail now, actually. Uh, Ike as an angel. Ike as an angel reaching down. <laughs> yeah. Little, uh, like in a little modesty cloud. <laughs> what's the what's the like the the, the painting? Channel. Yeah, the oh, painting the, of the, yeah, yeah. the, oh, the uh, creation of man. Yeah. There's any mini biker and then Ike is yeah, just yeah. giving them the you know the love for go. That's what we call him. We call him Saint Ike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so with that Saint Ike comment, we are going to take a quick break. We're going to throw it over to our sponsors, and we'll be right back after these messages. Cut. Hey there, race team. Jason here from Go Power Sports with some exciting news. 
We're thrilled to announce that we've just launched new tank mounts tailor-made for the Megamoto 80 mini bikes, Megamoto 212 slash Coleman B200 series mini bikes, and the Coleman CT200U mini bike. These bolt-on kits are designed for maximum convenience, eliminating the need for any welding. Simply grab your half-inch socket and you're good to go. Installation is a breeze, so you can spend less time tinkering and more time hitting the track. Get ready to elevate your ride with ease. It's as simple as that. Boom. And we're back. Go ahead, Zane. What were you just talking about? <laughs> oh, uh, we were talking about taking a little uh, a little traipse down memory lane. Mm -hmm. A little strolle. A little yeah. saunter. Yeah. So, yeah, can we talk a little bit about the history of the channel and kind of, I guess, more about what you guys do? Uh, no, next. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's next a power question. move, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like uh, NBA players when they don't, when a reporter yeah. asks them a question they don't like, they're like, nope. what, what type of question is that? <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question. Yeah, so it started off in 2015. So I think I was, well, no, I was about to be in college. You were 17. 17 years old. Yeah. You, him and our buddy Daniel were in high school. And I, um, How old are 15 year olds? How old grade, are 15 years old? What grade are 15 year olds? <laughs> uh, um, 10th grade, right? Is that freshman in high school? Or uh, oh, yeah, 9th grade, maybe? 14, 15. Freshman 14, 15 is freshman. Sophomore is 15, 16. Okay. okay, I was a junior in high school. We you were guys, freshman or sophomore. Freshman or okay. sophomore. Okay. Somewhere school. around that. Okay. So. All right, good. We got that. Got it. Okay, now yeah, yeah figured we figured that was so now that's the ground we're done. <laughs> We've painted um, that picture for everyone. Daniel got a Mustang GT for his first car, which honestly, if I was going to give someone advice, probably not a good first car for a 15 year old. Do you know what kind of year it was? Was it a brand 2015. new? 2015 brand oh, well, new. Okay. So his, his grandpa worked at Ford for in Michigan, so many years, like Ford headquarters. So did my grandpa. What's oh, up, Daniel's really? grandpa? You don't awesome. drive Ford? You don't right. So I have my family has disowned me because I now drive yeah, a Chevy, but we were we have been a Ford family. Yeah. This is where you guys find out it's the same grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. The family he was trees. also in sales and accessories. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> weird. I'm sorry. Keep going. So he got the Mustang. Normally he was actually a really good driver, but normally I would not recommend that for a 15 year old. It's no. I would have probably died if I had that car. Still would. Right probably now, still probably would have yeah. broke your thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have even fractured a fingernail. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we went to some car shows, and we just got the bug for, like, cars. And it's Before like, this, we did not care about cars. Yeah, we didn't Didn't even any, look twice at cars. Never had a mini bike, never had a dirt bike, never had anything really with an engine besides, like, a Power Wheels when we were toddlers. So nice. Daniel got the Mustang. We started going to some car shows, started watching car YouTube, like, Boosted Boys, Haggard Garage. And then it was like, well, we want to build a car, but we didn't have that much money between us three to build a car, like a project car. Mm -hmm. We didn't really know what like, kind of the barrier to entry is higher. So we were like, well, let's do a go-kart. And then we didn't have any welder or any equipment. It was like, let's build one out of wood. Mm. And so I started looking online at wooden go-karts. So we found some pictures and... Um, there's one where you steer with your feet. It's a pretty simple design, and we built that, painted it army green, called it Mayhem, Mayhem. after Roadkill's General Mayhem. Nice. Because we got really into Roadkill at that point. Okay. And so we drove that around, and we didn't know anything about go-karts. I mean, the first engine we bought was on Craigslist. It was a Craftsman pressure washer motor, mm. and we didn't even do the research to find out that, hey, you can't put a centrifugal clutch on the tapered, output shaft on a Craftsman pressure washer motor. So that motor was just useless. Yeah. We would have had to, like, swap the crank, and we didn't know how to do that back then. So we just um, bought a Predator. And uh, tires, we I think we had about 300 bucks to spend on this project between mm -hmm. us three pulling our piggy banks together. So the tires were just Harbor Freight wheelbarrow wheels. Nice. Where the area, the bearing races just sometimes just punch out of the <laughs> outer wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so we would probably, we probably spend spent four so times as much, much money as if we would have just bought normal wheels yeah. first. And we didn't replace bearings either. No. We would buy a new wheel. Yeah, we so just we buy a new wheel. We didn't know anything. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we didn't know you could just replace bearings. So <laughs> we were just buying Harbor Freight wheels, 
And then to make the tread last longer, we wrap them in duct tape. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> we on that one. Okay. We had the ch- the chain on that was probably, probably four feet, three long. or four feet long. <laughs> so, so the chain would pop off. Chain? Yeah, and it was just a nightmare. Yeah, one time the brake cable actually I think got caught up around the axle, oh, and the man. the bottom of the go kart was plywood, and it just ripped right through <laughs> up between Jason's legs. And luckily, there's a cross two by four cross member that prevented Same him doom. from getting yeah. bisected I mean, yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> so that was general mayhem it was really fun we rode it everyone who drove it crashed it because i mean the steering was so awful i mean you're steering with your feet it's just and the front axle was so the you know say the live axle was this wide the steering axle was this wide yeah mm-hmm. so it looked terrible it and looked it was terrible. super big and like lumbering and it kind of just whoom, yeah and like Everyone who drove it crashed. Was there a steering wheel to this thing? No, your just feet. your feet. Your feet. But had what do you hold? Bicycle on handlebars. Oh, bicycle bicycle handlebars okay. that and were just static. Steer your feet. Yep. And they had the um, throttle was on the brake lever. Okay. And then the brake was on the other lever. And it was bicycle oh, brakes. Oh no way! That would okay. be confusing. No. Okay. No. Cool. And it was very intuitive. Is there video footage of this? There's thing? video. I can actually send y'all some video footage too. Okay. That'd be insert. great. But you never did a YouTube never a YouTube video. video. Okay. Just filming on we the did, iPod oh, yeah. or whatever we had. <clears> did we do there. a slideshow on that one? No, no, we actually never filmed that at all. But what's cool about wooden go-karts is if you make a mistake, very easy to just cut pieces off or yeah. replace it. So that was actually a really good learning experience. And once we're done with that, we just disassembled it, we kept the engine, and then we were like, we need to do a metal go-kart. And that's when we started finding out that there were go-kart YouTubers. Mm-hmm. So the first time we watched was Cars and Cameras, obviously, because nice. they're kind of the first. The to, OGs. Like, do that formula of like car videos, but with go karts, mm-hmm. like those types of build series and stuff. And so we started watching that and we're like, yeah, we can build a metal go kart. So we mm-hmm. found some plans online for like a racing kart frame, got a Harbor Freight welder, Harbor Freight hydraulic tubing bender, a bunch of steel, like plumbing pipe from Home Depot. Yeah. And we the frame actually turned out pretty good. Nice. Do you guys still have that frame around? No, No, we sold it. it. Did you learn how to weld from YouTube? Yep, yep. Because you didn't have prior experience. No, no fabrication, nothing. We got another thing. Shout out to Daniel's dad. He was very supportive. So he had a 69 GTO at the time, and I think he was wanting to get us into cars Mm -hmm. so we could help him, I guess. So he got us the welder and then the tubing bender. Nice. So we had him help us out with that. I mean, I guess for, you know, a... 40 something year old dude spending like $200 at Harbor Freight's zero, like nothing. <laughs> but for us, it was. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. That's Game a meal changing. at Olive Garden, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you so, get yeah. at Olive Garden? <laughs> Endless breadsticks. I mean, a lot of breadsticks, yeah. With, with messing with these go karts, do you think that helped make you want to become an engineer? It's the only reason oh, really? I became yeah. an engineer. I was really thinking like, like a doctor before. Wow. Yeah. And, and I, you wouldn't want to go. This was this a. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm welding happy with stuff on the kill people. rate of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in with both arms in a sling. He's like, "What's what's wrong with you today?" He's got a one and zero kill death ratio. <laughs> so we, yeah, we sold that go kart. I think we sold it for seven hundred dollars. Nice. Which the poor guy that bought it because it was you could have no, bought a it racing was a card. Good, you could have bought, bought a real race, racing a real card. racing card, but it was cool. I mean, we painted it white. It had gold wheels, and that's actually we came to the Go Power Sports shop. Back then, that was 2015, 16, 17, 15. We came to the Ancient shop. history, got it. Yeah, this was way different back then, too. Yeah. I mean, the branding was different. It was still the, the other GPS logo. Looked like the um, go-kart the weird, OCC or whatever. The anthropomorphic County. go-kart. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we went. <laughs> Y'all didn't have any of the other warehouses yet. No, it was still, definitely small yeah, time. It was just this and that. And we came in, and we were like, we need these Harbor Freight wheels are not cutting it. We need to get some wheels. So we bought some wheels and tires from you guys. And I think at the time we had like maybe like 6,000 subscribers. And we kind of were like, yeah, we're like doing this YouTube thing. Like, you know, just kind of putting the putting a bug in your ear. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Like, we'll definitely like keep coming back. So they said, talk to us. Yeah, when talk you, to us. Like, when you, as get you 10, keep building the channel, thousand. like, 10's really? a magic okay. number. Yeah, 10's a magic number. <laughs> and so, yeah, we did start off as just regular Go Power Sports customers. Kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And 10 just really shows that you're not a one-time flame. Yeah, you're that you really dedicated. want to be about yeah. it. Yeah, because that first 10000 is the worst. Because <laughs> yeah. It's the hardest make, to get. There's no money. You're not making ad money to pay for your builds, right? You're just mm-hmm. paying out of your own pocket. So we, back then, we were build it, sell it, build it, sell it. Mm-hmm. And we'd be going like that. 
and then no one cares, no one's watching your stuff. It's very disheartening. And that's something that is kind of interesting when people ask for advice, right? It's like, you have to be consistent and post all this, but will you make it? Yeah. You know, I've seen people that have been very good, have made good content, but not made it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to push through, but then also, when do you stop? Yeah. If you can't make it, you're just going to be wasting hours. So yeah. Yeah. The, the biggest advice, uh, this is going a little bit of a tangent, but the biggest advice we have for people is, if you want to start making YouTube videos, do it because you like making YouTube videos. Don't do it because you want to have 100,000 subscribers. Yes. Um, if you enjoy what you do and editing isn't a big headache for you, you know, I oh, I don't even know how to edit, but I don't think I'd like it. It's not too bad. But, no, <laughs> but um, so, you know, if you're like, oh, I, I just love the process, you know, filming it, documenting it, sharing it. It's hard not to get discouraged in the very beginning because no one cares. Yeah. Yeah, do it for yourself because if you're trying to do it just to make it big, yeah, there's a good chance you won't. And build stuff that you like, yes. not what you think other people are gonna like. Yeah, well, do a mix. I of mean, both. yeah, you can do a mix, yeah. but um, yeah, because like sometimes we're like, this will be a cool project, people are gonna love it, and we do like a ten part series, and then the episodes are only getting like one thousand views or a couple thousand views, and then it's like, ah, dang, we built this. <laughs> I wasted. We thought all people that were gonna like it, and like, and we're not. We don't even like driving it or something. So mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know, it does kind of slow you down. Yeah. So you got to build stuff that you like. And then, you know, we try and build stuff that we think other people like. Like we rebuilt the wooden go-kart. And that's something we knew, like, oh, we're not going to keep this. It was fun to build. It was yeah. fun to film. People loved the video. That was kind of just like, we're going to build this just to show people how we got started and to kind of show people, like, is it a really easy way to get into karting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure it's a fun, you know, it's going down memory lane for you guys because yeah. you get to, like, kind of revisit oh, yeah. your past. And it got 1.4 million views. So, yeah. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> Uh, Not complaining. One point yeah. four three six seven five. I mean, since you're talking numbers, so you so from ten thousand subscribers back in two thousand fifteen, sixteen, whatever. Mm -hmm. What do you guys have now? I think we just hit one one hundred seventy five thousand. Congrats! That's awesome. Yeah. And, and we, we hit, we've hit a very big plateau now that we have full time jobs. Yeah, we can't yeah. post us regularly. Find a balance, but, yeah. but I'm not complaining. It's a yeah. good hobby. Obviously, yeah. career comes. First, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Putting food on the table is more important than building go karts. But, but you guys are still in it because so now that you're into engineering, now that you have an engineering job, now that you still love go karts, you decided to come out with your good segue. next. Hey, <laughs> you Very decided good segue. To, to start up your own new project, and so that we could help push it for you, like Ooh. butter. Let us know the concept. What are we looking at? And just walk so, us through it all. This is the <laughs> he drifts off into the ether. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it might be a little bit. Further Actually, no, if you want, man, just like yeah, yeah, take it with you. Here you go, dude. Yeah, yeah, go go mobile. live. Yeah. Go mobile. So I think this is the first time someone's left the table with the mic. I like right. this. We're making history Episode right now, folks. First. Here we go. This is the bolt together go kart. We've always kind of had a dream of building a bolt together go kart. It looks simple. It it is simple, but the the actual design process of making something like this and make it manufacturable and repeatable is much more complicated than it seems. So me having my engineering background definitely help. I do think anyone could build something similar. It's just how long are you going to spend on it? The actual design, the initial design probably took me a couple hours, maybe like three, but then it's okay. Where's that bolt? Where's this bolt? You know, every single item on this frame is 100% decided by me. Every, the slot, the distance between these slots, the angle, you know, everything is exactly decided. So every single thing has a decision. And then another thing I wanted to do was reduce any sort of bending or welding, right? So we have two welds on this, which is the front spindles, which are obvious because we don't want that falling off while you're driving, and the uh, pitman arm on the steering shaft. Those are the two welds. We have two bends, which are both on the engine plate. Every single other thing is flat. So that really reduces cost. The plan for this was to have it super affordable. It is not as affordable as we thought uh, just by looking at it, but it makes sense because instead of just doing some welds that take you, you know, 15 minutes, you have, I think, 100 something bolts. All of these brackets, the material cost is the main thing that drives it up. But um, I mean, either way, we think it's going to be affordable enough and sell very well. So we're super excited yeah. about it. I would buy one. It's very, um, I, this is probably the only bolt together go kart that's gonna be on the market. Well, has ever been on the market. Has ever been on the market. There oh. has not been another. There was one made by Manko. Manko that was in two pieces. So mm -hmm. there was welded piece and a welded piece, and you'd bolt them together. Oh, okay. Kind of just bolt in the middle. But this is the first one. And the current, you could put this together 
in like a couple of hours with just two wrenches mm -hmm. really is yeah. all you need. So yeah, the kind of our customer that we're thinking of is one, this cart will fit me. So I'm 6'2", you could probably push it to 6'3", 6'4". So it will fit a full grown adult. My dad's driven it. We've had me and Joe on it. You know, we've had- At the same time. I'd say probably around 250, 300 pounds is a safe weight for it. And then we have options. So the front pedal moves back and you can buy an extra seat pad and that'll move it forward so then you can fit a kid. And I think it's 33 inches from the back to the seat pedal. So I think it's a mid XRX, a little bit, you can fit a little bit smaller person than the mid XRX. Mm -hmm. So roughly 10 years old on up. Probably we had so. a nine year old on there. This okay. is average nine year old verified. Approved. Or uh, a really tall five year old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four to five, or four to five nine year olds agree. <laughs> <laughs> 45 nine-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's a great go-kart. Um, yeah. One of the things I designed it was for myself. Mm -hmm. So it handles very well. Um, very well. The prototype we have has slick tires on it. And I mean, you don't have to, you can go 40 miles an hour and not hit the brakes on our little track we drive on. Wow, that's it awesome. is really fast. Um, mm -hmm. So that we have a live axle in the back. It does not understeer. Uh, well, you can make it understeer if you want to, but in all, for most driving, <clears throat> it will not understeer. It's really good steering. It's better than most, like pretty much any yard cart you would buy. Okay. It's it no. is steers very well. Probably the best yard cart. It, I'd say on the spectrum, it's a little closer to race cart than like yard cart. Okay. So and I mean also another thing to keep in mind is that it is cheaper than buying a welder. <laughs> like, yeah. At the end of the if day. If you bought yeah, if you're getting a Harbor Freight welder, you know your welds aren't going to look good. If you want to get a good welder, it's going to cost you probably three hundred bucks. Then you're spending around 200 on the gas. Well, it's all different. But you could, if you get the up. small gas yeah. bottle, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's stuff like that adds up. You're no, looking material, at Yeah, once lot. you have materials, time, effort, mm -hmm. and equipment, mm -hmm. like having a thing that you can bolt together in an afternoon yeah. is awesome. And it would yep. be great. It's a great first cart. Yeah. It's great, you know, if you had a kid and you're trying to just get him into turning wrenches. And the other thing is it's, Pretty much infinitely customizable. I mean, you could yes. paint, there's a lot of brackets. You could paint every bracket a different color if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You could have like a Skittles go-kart. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and nothing's stopping you from welding it together. Or even if you welded stuff to it, if you wanted to throw a cage on it or something. Yeah. So it's really extremely customizable. We have two, uh, up here we have a kill switch, yeah, uh, kill hole, switch hole and something for another yeah, you thing. Could put so lights, we're maybe. thinking headlights up front. Yeah. Oh. So now actually, now are you guys going to be doing more with it as we go along? Are you gonna be I, yeah. developing more projects to, or <clears throat> more product more that parts. can go onto it, parts and yeah, accessories that, and stuff? For this one specifically, we're doing a hydraulic brake kit. Oh, okay, nice. Um, which is really just a bracket and then a brake kit. Brake kit, yeah. Um, and then, in the future, there will be more bolt together projects, hopefully. Okay, so this this is V1. This is not the right. end of the line. This is, yeah, this should hopefully be the last version of this. I oh, the, don't yeah, think yeah. we'll update it. We'll see. But there will be the bolt series, the mm -hmm. bolt together, nice. the bolt lineup. Oh, nice. I think this is genius because this is essentially the Legos of a riding go-kart. You and your kid, if you're a grandpa with a grandchild, you know, if I want to get my daughters involved, like you said, if you go to Home Depot, get like a Husky set, like yep. a 40-piece Husky set of wrenches and sockets, mm -hmm. you can have a whole afternoon just to go ahead and build. Like if you're going to sit there and build Legos w right. with your kiddo, you can build something that you can then put an engine on, Enjoy. ride, yeah. teach them how to drive. Mm -hmm. Then you can customize it. You can color it, whatever you want, paint right. it, whatever you want. You can start out with a 98cc engine, which comes, which will end up coming with the kit. I believe we're doing it with yeah. the 98cc engine. But you can upgrade it to a 212, mm -hmm. so you can go 40 miles an hour and do mm -hmm. adult stuff on it. Right. This thing is and you nuts. can file your taxes while <laughs> driving it. It's all kinds of adult things. And hopefully it is affordable. I know that we were trying to be under a grand. Mm -hmm. I think we might be around fifteen hundred. I think I think under that, yeah, under fifteen hundred to have your own probably. bolt together go kart. That is, and I think something we forgot to mention is all of these steel tubes are cut to size, and the holes are laser cut in the right locations. Yes. So, 
Yeah. You're not, you don't have to touch a drill. You don't have to try and make the whole straight. You need two, I designed it to use two one half inch wrenches. Yep. That's and all you need? Maybe well, a screwdriver. Okay, there's going to be more. Like, okay. You, and have, <laughs> you have the cable. Uh, let's not get into the technicalities, okay? <laughs> but essentially two half inch wrenches. Pretty much. The whole frame wow. will go together with two half inch wrenches. Mm-hmm. Okay. When you have to bolt the clutch, no, the clutch is one half, the throttle cable. Yeah, cable mouse, stuff. Yeah. I, I see. But the whole frame, one, if you have one half wrench mm-hmm. and an adjustable wrench, Whole frame will come together. So, when did this idea come to you guys that you were like, we're going to design the first bolt on kit that is going to be available? So, it kind of started with me and Joe talking about the YouTube channel. We've been buying too many expensive rotary engines and <laughs> it's starting to come out of my picture. You're, you're, wank, you're wankled <laughs> out? Yeah. Okay. No, man. We have. Channel owes me some money. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were like, he's Dude. coming in the shop with a baseball bat. Yeah. 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 Who's these? I need a bust in. <laughs> so. We are like, dude, we, we should try and make some sort of kit that we could sell that would mm-hmm. supplement, since we, we don't post that much on YouTube. So if we had something like this, we're trying to post this more. could allow us to buy better engines so we're not wasting time tearing apart, fixing engines. And, and then, then we would just advertise it for you. Yeah. Bam. This is great. And so, it's like, yeah. Somehow we're already connected with the biggest go-kart supplier <laughs> yes. in America. And they're yeah. right down the street. And you have the GoPower studio at your exposal, too. I mean, imagine the logistics of that if we were doing it. We would have to store all of those parts yeah. for however many we're selling at a time, which I think the first run is going to be 50. So Really? It's a logistical. 50 it's a tires, logistics. 50 wheels. No, or no 50 t- 200 tires and wheels. And then what? You want to do the two. We have two options, the Turf Saver and the Slix. And, you know, so... For us, it'd be fill, probably fill our whole garage with parts. Yeah. So um, it's very valuable with yeah. the, us teaming up. You know, yeah. it, it mutually yeah. beneficial. Yeah. yeah. Y'all have been really supportive of the project and. Oh, I'm yeah, stoked on this project. Along, so I think we really appreciate that. I'm excited that. about this. Project. I also yeah. didn't want to make a giant headache for Mark. So I mean, up until now, basically, I've done everything. So I, I mean, I at least like, here's my design. Can you make it? You know, it's like, I created the files. The drawings, every single thing is done. I'm doing the layouts for him and everything, so I'm at least, yeah, we're trying not to make it yeah. hard on y'all. We're, we're okay. making it Did easy. we no. mention the... Make y'all want to work with us. Yeah. Did we mention the the um, assembly instruction printout thing? We we can. We have it. We should. Yeah. We, are what you a, talking about the layout? For the like, layout for the... Well, for when they pack them, um, mm-hmm. when they're picking the parts, they're going to have something that they can double check it, and then that same will be put in, mm-hmm. checked off, and then the customer can then lay out their parts and yep. then we'll go grab this part and you can if you have them all laid out you can look you know what is some some things look similar so mm-hmm. then you can cross yes. compare and that's you know, awesome man be yeah. easier. and you're making this file mm-hmm. yeah nice when are you gonna have that ready it won't take long i mean i have all of this in cad so okay. all i have to do is just make an assembly of them set up nicely nice so do you know when we would go live with something like this the go-kart itself no. Okay. We are waiting on the supplier. Okay. Um, for the frame kit. Yeah. It's a CNC laser cut tubing bender, and it went down, so mm-hmm. they had to fix it, and then probably have a backlog. Okay. So essentially, whenever it gets to us, do you have do you have any idea how many boxes people will be getting? There's going to be one long box for the whole frame and axle, and then I think it's, I think it's going to be two. I, I don't quote me on that. Maybe okay, so that, just brown boxes the, is how we're yeah, shipping it. The out. logistics right, yeah. is not us. Okay. So yeah, that's all y'all. Y'all know what you're doing. But it if is I gonna it's gonna that. look like Christmas Day when you get it. Yeah. Okay. It, it won't, probably won't have a fancy box or anything yeah. for. Um, we're not putting a giant Lexus bow. It's on. not coming on, <laughs> on a pallet. Well, no, just we're, yeah, it's not, you're not gonna have to have like a loading be, dock yeah. or anything. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Because it's it'll be dense but very flat. I mean, it's yeah. You know, basically 2D once you put it all down. Yeah. The tires and the engine are the biggest things. So, I mean, it's kind of like an Ikea yeah. go-kart. I oh, like yeah. it. Okay, cool. Except you're not, like, screwing in a screw into particle Forever. board. Right? Yeah. It's bolts that are, hey, like, man, don't boom. talk trash on Ikea. I like it. <laughs> if you, you go half a turn too tight, everything just, <laughs> just breaks. It, it just explodes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you can over-tighten these. I Yeah, we, the, our prototype we have, we've tested for... I can't even guess three. Yeah. Imagine about average an hour or two a night for three straight months, and I don't drive it nice. No, like I, I'm turning it in, burning. Like I just yeah, we did. I'll do whole laps on road, yeah. just floored. Like do not lift, just. Mm-hmm. So three months of that with no maintenance on purpose. We yeah. blew an engine, 
Did bow and engine. But the frame is good. Okay. Frame. And I had, I under tightened some bolts, I over tightened, torque wrenched, impacted, and did a bunch of different types of tightening on those bolts. And we have not had a single one come loose. Awesome. Well, actually, I over tightened one and it came out, but it didn't fall off. It just, I messed up the bolt. Oh, okay. I mushed the threads all. But yeah, so we're going to recommend Loctite in the kit. Yeah. Mm. Um, it has been, yeah, it's just been yeah. a project that's been in the works for a while. So we're not just, we didn't come up with this one night and then we're just like, it's ready. Willy nilly. Yeah. It's yeah. been tested. It's been, yeah. I mean, I can tested. say I've been hearing about it for a couple of months now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I know you guys have been working on it before We've that. We've had so. a lot of people set eyes on it and give suggestions and stuff. So. Yeah. So have you guys already shot your video that you plan on? Okay. We need the final kit. Okay. It's also, I'm, I'm nervous because that's, <laughs> I have changes from this version to the next version coming out. Okay. So we gotta hopefully sure everything's I didn't on the mess money. Anything up. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's only fifty frames, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the nice thing is I messed something up. There's Just a part. Probably not the whole thing. Yeah. So it'd be a tube. Yeah. Or yeah. a bracket. Right. Yeah. Hopefully so you, bracket. You're talking about the bolt family. You got a next project you're you're eyeing? Uh, we're looking at drift trike. That's what's up. Dope. Drift trike. So okay. Have done very brief research kind of benchmarking other drift trikes and we're trying to we're trying to grow the lineup too so we're having some ideas for maybe tools or maybe storage options for mm -hmm. go-kart related stuff around the shop because the bolt together stuff it's just it's pretty economical to get stuff laser cut mm -hmm. just out of plate mm -hmm. like flat steel and then just shipping tubes shipping's really easy because it's flat it's yeah. not a big three-dimensional just flat and just the ease of assemblies. Well, here's the other option. You can save money by shipping the bracket kit, and the customer will get Buys the tube. Buys yeah. So it's different. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. a lot of... It's versatile. Mm -hmm. So you can give out these plans? We would send you a kit of brackets, okay. and then you would buy your steel, use the kit to dr drill your holes in those locations, and then you could set it up yourself. Yeah. And are these people getting the kit from us? This would. Uh, this is just like a future... Okay. Yeah. That was originally the plan for this kit, but after I drilled 96 holes and cooked through a drill bit, I was like, we can't have customers do this. Yeah, mm. it's insane. You drill one hole off and then... then and a lot of people don't know how to drill holes, you know? <laughs> Some people go, like, super high speed, not enough pressure. You you would go through probably 10 drill bits. Yeah. Like, I don't want to drill holes really good, put, like, insane pressure, and I still... Yeah, one dr it went through a whole cobalt steel Milwaukee drill bit. Mm. That's, like, $11 for one of them, so... Yeah. If you're doing going through ten of them, it definitely adds up. Yeah, but yeah, hopefully, I mean, the drift trike will be a uh, collaboration I mean, with Go Power Sports. Then the skateboard, right? Skateboard, <laughs> the bolt together <laughs> mini bike. Oh man, bolt together mini bike. That's gonna be interesting. We would uh, not. I don't think we're no? doing bolt together. Mini bike. Do you think just because people will be jumping on it? Uh, no, just because y'all have so many mini bikes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah the like, thing is, if you we guys do have a, too many mini bikes for sale, if we do a bolt together mini bike. You're not gonna sell that many more mini bikes. You're gonna sell the same amount of mini bikes, and uh, some of it's just gonna go to that. You know? But what if you had a bolt together mini bike that you can put in a plane in a little capsule, jump out of the back of the plane, mm. <laughs> DB bolted, Cooper? Yeah, bolts okay, DB Cooper. But you bolt we it could, together. I would love you... to call it the DB Cooper. That okay. actually would. They they so the original mini bikes. What he's getting at the original mini bikes were actually I think the Royal Air Force dropped these like torpedo tube I've bikes those, yeah. out, and so it was for the RAF, and they would drop these bikes into war zones during World War II, and guys could just then jump on them and start riding around on these tiny little mini bikes, and then because they had so many of them after the war and they had the production capacity, it became a thing because they had fuel rationing in Britain. Mm -hmm. And so it became a huge deal in Britain that people could ride around on these bikes and it made it so that they, people could travel more easily. It was a democratization of uh, motors. Well, I'm saying don't poo-poo the ideas all I'm getting at. Can, that, <laughs> can that be the way the next 180 starts? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jason jumps out of a plane. Every bike, everyone's bike gets <laughs> dropped out of down. Plane. Not yeah. everyone's going to land. So. Yeah. Well, so now uh, the thing is, I think, I don't know about the next 180, but I would love to have a thing where we did like a Fortnite start to a, a race and it's literally everyone has to jump out with their bike in this torpedo tube. 
and then they just start somewhere in the wilderness, and you have to make your way to the finish line. I think that's good because the 180 needs more injuries. I think. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. We, yeah, we're we're, we're real low right now. I think we have what your semi concussion this year, <laughs> and, and then one guy broke his arm or something. Yeah. So Let's get sorry. Those numbers up, guys. These are rookie <laughs> numbers. Those are. Rookie. <laughs> yeah, I see some real yeah. carnage. Well, I, I wanted to let you guys know about some events coming up just so we can all put them yeah. down on our calendars. Get your notepad out. Yeah. So we were talking about the GPS 180. Mm-hmm. November 9th, 2024 will be our okay. fourth annual GPS 180 event. We will be, be there. there. You can get your tickets. I'll drop a link down in the description for that as well. But even before that, hopefully we'll see you guys out at Pate. Yep. yep. Absolutely. So Pate is April 25th out at Texas Motor Speedway. You said, so do you guys usually come out and look for bikes or go-karts? Yeah, I hope last we time don't. we bought... I, we shouldn't, but we will. A frame, some <laughs> engines. You, well, what kind of frame did you end up getting? We got a Sears Roper. Oh, with the, um, nice. the two-speed clutch okay. jack shaft. Whoa, right, okay. So that's pretty cool. Good and find. two Bajas. And two Bajas. And a Thunderbird. And a Thunderbird. I did see the Thunderbird. That's quite a yeah. haul, guys. Yeah, we <laughs> said we were not going to buy we shouldn't anything have. besides <laughs> engines, but... We didn't. I mean, when you come across a good deal, yeah, hopefully yeah. it was a good deal. They were good deals. Okay. The Bajas are a little rough. Are they just stored in your garage now? Um, or do you guys use them? Parents' backyard. <laughs> okay. We need to get them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just commented. <laughs> yeah. Get those get those pieces of trash out of the backyard. Is that what your parents sound like? No. That's <laughs> that's our, our mom sounds on. like that, yeah. but not her dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we would look for, well, what I'm looking for is a Hornet. Okay. Yeah. Just because of the cool local factor. Yeah. yeah. And then there's this one called the Aggie. I think it's oh. the Aggie 94. It's pretty cool. It's mm. got, the frame is pretty unique. It's got like a hoop in the back and then the entire bottom is the swing arm okay so there's bearings at the foot peg the whole what? bottom is so swing arm this right here is, is a shock. shock pivot here mm-hmm. and then that moves up and down yeah, okay so that i can't imagine it's very <laughs> stable yeah. in that direction like is it be, it's called the aggie because it's kind of like a bucking bronco or something it's or? actually mm-hmm. named after i think it was a race car driver from the 60s the Ag- jc <laughs> agajanian oh, okay gotcha <laughs> not Christ- was he, was he christina, christina aguilera, aguilera yeah, yeah. <laughs> was the aggie <laughs> okay. yeah so shortly after that we have pull start picnic which will be our second annual mini bike show out of rockwood right. go-karts last time was awesome yeah, and so you guys brought out the rotary bike last we did time. Out the rotary bike. Oh yeah, we actually got it running there. Yes, which everyone loves to everyone loves to it. hear and see. Mm-hmm. So I need to put that in the back of your head, so you know to be coming up with a sweet bike to to bring out. We should have a new bike, a couple oh, of new yeah. bikes. We might have one with a little bit of a battery power. Okay, going on. Oh, bring it, bring it. Very cool. Yeah. Then let you know the day after we have we're starting to come up with the GPS 660. Mm-hmm. And we that have is the drag race. Right? That's the drag race. Everyone's coming exactly. Boom. Or it's the, oh yeah, because this coming year dragons. is the year of the dragon. Dragon. And so. Oh wait, or is this year the year? I thought it was 2024. Uh, let me see. Please we might have to change all. Of, we might have to change all <laughs> of our branding, guys. I'm sorry. But essentially, we have everyone coming in town for the mini bike show. They already won a race. Mm-hmm. Oh, so basically, tell. the next day, we're going out to Yellow Belly Drag Strip on May 19th, and we're going to shoot it out there. Ooh, it's a 660 feet or yards. I don't know if we ever confirmed that. Meters, yes, miles. both. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll go ahead and get that racing and hopefully crown a drag champion that day after the pull start picnic. Uh, yeah, the drag star. The drag star, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it will Sorry, be dope. Sorry, dr- drag king. Drag king. A drag king or queen, if you will. It would be dope if the winner got the new drag bike. And when does the drag bike come out? Soon. Really? That's all I'm being told. I th- it's going to be first quarter. Yeah. And we're already coming up with names. That's what I'm excited to, to The bring little up drag school? <laughs> it could be that. I was also <laughs> thinking... Open the book, see the notebook. I don't want to tell you. Uh-huh. We wanted to. Well, I want to discuss this afterwards. Oh, okay. Let's talk about yeah. There, we've around the shop. We have been calling it the Drag Skull. Like that's what is we've been calling it. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure that there's a better name out there. Maybe Rascalian. Rascal. Rags. Rapscallion. The it Rascalian. Is, it's, it's Rapscallion, but do you rascalize it to mm, Rascalian? Okay. Or Draco. What about, what about the Drascalian? 
I'm not against it. That's the reason okay. why I wanted to bounce this yeah. off you. If you guys have a good name for the new GPS yeah. drag bike, leave it down in the comments below. Yeah, best comment gets one of our metal things. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely give that out. That would be a nice little gift. Yeah. Mm. So I just want to ask you guys, uh, this is a question because uh, I have three brothers, and I was interested. How has it been working with your brother? Do you think it's a, hin a hindrance or a help to you guys in your work? I think it's a help. Nice. We we have pretty similar ideas, right? And dispositions. And disposition. Like we're pretty. You guys are pretty. Relaxed. We're pretty much the same person. I'm just older, and he's taller. Yeah. Um, well, I'm cooler. <laughs> he's faster. I'm is, slower. Is there a third brother? There's like no a third Cooper brother. Bondi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Manning family. Yeah. yeah. He's he's out sitting in the car right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't let him in. Did you guys Did you guys at least crack the window for him? No, I feel really no. bad. <laughs> he, we keep him buckled up. He's in the trunk. <laughs> Daniel was like our third brother. He was. We, was all, we also had we all had similar ideas. Like. Are, it's kind of cool that even after he moved out to Arizona, he's doing missionary work, okay. and doing a seminary school. In oh, Detroit. good on him, man! So you can we did a video about that on our channel if you want to see his little going away speech, and or we did a podcast with him at the Go Power Sports Ranch, which even is better, awesome. It was a oh. modern update. So it was a Just driving click podcast. Something that's up blow there. darted it down or something. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool because even after he left the builds, they still are what we all three would have built. Mm -hmm. They're still kind of the same, like BBR. It's got the BBR touch. Nice. Uh, so but cool. one thing, with us working together, it's good because we almost don't overlap in our skill sets. It's kind of odd. I mean, of course, I would say I can make things that look good, and Joe can build stuff, but or like decide mechanically what to do. And I think, yeah, I don't know. That wasn't well worded. No, I got you. you. The yin to yeah. the yang. You yeah. guys kind of mm -hmm. need each other. So, yeah, I mean, like, my wheelhouse is the mechanical. You know, we need to package this to do this. Yeah. That's I'm like horrible right at using me. a tubing bender and, like, calculations. He's amazing at it. So you just hand it off to him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of on a lot of our builds, which I like to get things right, so I will... <laughs> I will CAD, we'll measure whatever we're doing. You know, we need this X, X, Y, Z here, X, Y, Z here, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to bend something. Like, for example, we had something that bent out, went here, down, over, back, right? How do you get from there to there without guessing and checking? Mm. So I'll go to the CAD, I'll go upstairs, I know my X, Y's, and Z's of these two, and I can just design it, pull that out, figure out where my bends start, what degrees, what plane it's in, and boom, repeatable, can do it. All day. I don't know. And then you just film it. I just film. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I can, I like using kind of the engineering mm -hmm. with it. And I just hate when you mess up, up a tubing bend. And yeah. You have to, like, Get all this restart. spare steel. Like, <laughs> and then you it just does wasted. Because yeah. imagine you're doing a three dimensional bend and then this part right here went too far, too far that's bad. That whole thing is weird. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you can't just like. Yeah. Put it back on the it. shelf. It's not, you know, mm -hmm. so you're you just... Now you just have this reject piece. Almost yeah. wasted it, so yeah. I hate that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Measure yeah. measure twice, cut once. Yeah. That's, a, that's good. And or bend once, sorry. Yeah. Do you guys have significant others in y'all's lives that take away your time? Not take away, that you have to share your time with? <laughs> yeah, we're... Damn, yeah, Jason. Some, <laughs> I sometimes I have to talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Because with full-time jobs, it is, trying to do yeah, YouTube, supportive. trying to come up with kids. Oh, they are? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, so far. We are, we, we do have full schedules. We try and find a balance somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's good that you guys everything. are able to still like, to find time. We do, what, two yeah, we'll days, two, two to three, three days, days a week. A week. And then editing time. And yeah. one of those days is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those yeah, are our where days where we actually get, get a stuff lot done. done. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like Monday through Thursday, we're figuring out the problems, ordering stuff, that type of thing, mm -hmm. thinking about it. And then so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, one of those, one or two of those days. We're trying to get to a video every other week. Okay. That's the plan. And we actually only posted six videos last year, which is really bad. It's a lot. You guys had it's, a ton yeah. going on. That's uh, we bought a house. Up, I had my started at my job. Yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of life. And you guys were graduating, right? Yeah, I, was, yeah, I've been out of college for six months. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. But I mean, no, that's that's a huge life transition, dude. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if we and were designing this thing, if yeah. we we're full time YouTube, I mean, we'd be cranking out builds. Yeah. Well, dude, videos. we'd also have no money. That too, yeah. So yeah. Some balance somewhere in there. We would be. I think we we make less. I think it's a couple cents an hour mm. is what. <laughs> but also, we don't even get the money. We don't yeah, pay we, ourselves. Everything. everything goes back into the channel. So, we're not buying like 
private jets with the YouTube Not yet. money. Not yet. No. Not yet. Not yet. That's yeah. why we unfortunately have to but have I ads mean, on the vids, you know? Ike and John and Charles, they, they actually do have a private jet. I think they, they don't, each have their they own They don't talk about jet. it, but yeah, they have a <laughs> private jet. John, that, that school bus is just yeah. a front. Yeah. They actually John pay us to like be friends Ferrari. with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're out of touch, so they have to yeah. give us some money so we talk. What happens when you become the biggest yeah. go-kart YouTubers? You yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Well, no, because at the 180, I, I tried to go into their tent, and they had a bouncer. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But right. I, and I was like, hey, guys, how's it going? And they looked at me, and then they just kept on popping champagne bottles and <laughs> laughing, and it was yeah. really upsetting. Oh yeah! But I was like, I was like, John, and he's he, he's like, mm. he fixed his monocle up and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's a little unsettling how he doesn't let us look, make eye contact <laughs> with him. But <laughs> I'm okay always, with. It always yeah. made me uncomfortable when Ike would light money on fire. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because he would he would always he has an orphan that follows him around right. with the money, and he makes the orphan light the money for him mm-hmm. so he can light his cigars. Oh, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> But you know what, Ike? You're still a good guy. Like, we yeah, all yeah. love you. We all love you guys. This is a firm slash S. And, and this Zane, is all can sarcasm. You, can you, like, Photoshop some pictures of this stuff? Like, oh, yeah, no. Th- this is, from now on, this is going to, yeah. I, I, I love that this is becoming every, the thing. It's just the smirching the good character of cars and cameras. Like. Every every video I've done, I always throw in a subtle jab you at John. To, that way to. I can text him the link and yeah. be like, go to this timestamp. <laughs> Talking about you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in all reality, go cars and cameras are pretty awesome yeah I mean, I mean, oh everybody. yeah when john I mean, saw my crash video he asked me he was like are oh, you uk you know we're I we're mean, good we actual go down the list and name everybody that we've met but everybody's so nice yeah oh yeah it's such a cool community it is a really nice community There's, i can't even name them all i mean i, I, I forget nice. their names <laughs> There's too many people yeah but yeah. they're so nice everyone's yeah so nice no everyone's it's, every event we go to i'm always blown away by how nice everyone is even though half of the things we're doing are a mm-hmm. competition where people are showing up to beat the other people yeah, true so Except for john oh, yeah sorry. i don't know what's up with that why does he, <laughs> he keep kicking so people far. off of their mini bikes <laughs> Well, he was out when the kids were racing. He was out there. He was he was actually cutting brake lines. I saw. Yeah, oh, just the kids, not yeah. the adults. <laughs> the kids, yeah. which is well, nuts. John John was racing with them. <laughs> okay. <He> was, uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, we were God. actually making a joke that we should give John a propeller hat and have him <laughs> yeah, trying to race against the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't Joe shave or anything. Whoop just like, yeah. uh, no, he's got that thing that uh, Robin Williams had in Jack. You know, he's just like a full-grown man, yeah. <laughs> a boy in a full-grown man's body. Right. So I think we have two more questions. Uh, the first one is, well, yeah. did we have any listener questions that we wanted to release? Mostly about volume. But. Oh, okay. Well, that, yeah. Sorry, we're well, nothing too we can do about that. High now. or too low? It was oh, too yeah. low before because oh. the DJI is a little far away gotcha. for them. Oh. So, first question: Sorry, guys. How do you guys feel about going 100 miles per hour on a mini bike? I'd do it. Would you do it at the drag strip at yeah. an eighth mile? Yeah. Not if you have a whole air strip. If you have to gun it, light the tree, the Christmas tree goes mm-hmm. down, eighth mile, 100 miles an hour, you do it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm do it. There we go. Where, we this, need to build are, a you, are you going to give us a mini bike or something? Or? Well, what I mean, that's our. For? I mean, th- that's the goal is to get our drag bike to hitting. Yes, and hitting. Well, yeah, I, I wanted to have records. I want the engine to hit 100. I want our. Uh, I want our frame to hit 100. Yeah. We've been needing to build a drag bike. Every. I mean, Flacco has been honest, man. Yeah. Some of those other guys that go to Yellow Belly. Yeah. Like Cole, man, he's like, guys need to build a drag bike. Well, so. some people find it just scary going that fast. Like, I've gone 74 miles an hour, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, this thing is too tiny. Mm-hmm. So what's the fastest you guys have gone on a mini bike? I think probably, probably around, around 75. Around 75, yeah. Where, of, which was it? It was an LT gray frame we got from Pates, from mm. Tommy and So we had, Rick. yeah, we can it was say it, it wasn't on video. So... But this was back when we never wore safety gear. Yeah, Jason. So I was in safety. shorts and a t-shirt, no helmet or anything. We had this LT gray frame. Don't with do really this, guys. With really <laughs> big. T- yeah, this do not do this. The yeah. 10 inch model. We had really wheels. big tires on oh, it man. with the Kenda with the studded tires and okay. a small Long sprocket. Yeah. So yeah. it was, and then we had a Tilton 225 on it, <laughs> and we had the car was driving. I think like probably like 45, 45, 50, and Jason and. Just, Ooh. Just so we don't know how fast I was going, but probably at I least twenty. 70. Over, yeah. yeah, probably seventy-five ish somewhere. And it held together, no scrapes. Oh, it would death wobble. You get off the <laughs> oh, throttle, and just you'd be yeah. going, and just like. Ooh. But you didn't death. Wo- you didn't. Didn't dump it. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, Good. I'd have no skin on my legs. Okay, so going an extra twenty-five miles an hour in such a short amount of time. 
doesn't scare you at all? I mean, if the bike didn't have studded tires and I had safety gear, I think I'd feel pretty comfortable. Yeah. Okay. As long as the bike's set up good, I would trust it. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Well, I, I look forward to your guys' performance uh, at the GPS 660. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. I would prefer to just do my own, just like, cruise. Yeah. Like, I don't like competition, to be honest. Really? No. Okay. It's just like, I feel like that's when you make mistakes, so we prefer not. We never really... We did one time race against each other, and then Daniel crashed into a tree. And we're like, yeah, probably shouldn't. So we don't do lap <laughs> yeah. times or anything like that. It's we more just drive for fun. Okay. And I feel like that keeps it a little bit safer. Yeah. yeah for right. us. So we just do the crashing with the wheelies. Now. Yes. We replace. <laughs> yeah. It's all. Racing. That's it's more of our thing. We don't yeah. have so much racers. Yeah. We're like yeah. <laughs> wheelie. It's all bump. scripted. You know, I was trying to crash. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's for the views. It's for the views. It, it did good. Yeah. On Instagram. So the last question is, uh, is there anything else aside from the bolt-on kit that you guys want to talk about that you're working on or anything else you want to promote? And if there isn't, I think oh, that's... Have, then that's all, we folks. We have <laughs> uh, shirts. We have new merch have new coming cool out. new cool designs. Nice. Joe did a really good job. I designed, I drew, hand-drawn. Good I'm, job. We have some really cool builds that are in the tank that will be coming out. Mm-hmm. In like throughout the year, so I definitely we're on the I'm calling it the comeback tour. Okay, because last year was kind of an off year. We kind of slowed down. We're trying to pick back up. Yeah, you know, we're trying to push more products out. So keep an eye on the Go Power Sports website. Yeah. for more items in the Bolt lineup. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've got a product list that's like this long that we're gonna try and you know yeah. see what works, what doesn't. And here's something that drift trike is gonna be killer deal compared to other. I think the cheapest one you can get is like twenty, or the SFD ones are like twenty-five to four thousand. I'd say at least two grand, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be cheaper than this because it's less parts wow. and there's less wheels. So actually, yeah. the front wheel is very expensive. We won't make any promises different. yet. Yeah, but it should but come in. Wait to see. It. It's going to undercut the competition by a good bit. So that'll be nice, and it'll be fun. You know, yeah, just, we're just trying to get butts and seats. We're trying <laughs> exactly, to get people that's what we want. on some builds and some bikes, riding around, True. learning how to do stuff. Because yeah what we did and look how we turned out i mean i think it's it's genius because now you're reaching a population that wouldn't even second guess doing a diy go-kart or a drift trike Mm -hmm. but now you've really opened up the segment more so i'm excited to see what you guys do this coming up here i do not feel like you took last year off because you guys graduated moved into houses got big boy jobs you guys are doing a lot of work behind the scenes so great job at it can't wait to see what you guys come out with this year thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with us Absolutely. at the Go Power Studios. Yeah. yeah. Gotta say thank you to Go Power Sports. All you guys for all the support from being a customer at the beginning to now being like kind of business partners, I guess, with yeah. the Bolt. Oh, yeah. So Definitely. That's 100%. pretty awesome. Thanks to all the viewers. We always appreciate you guys. Yeah. So, everyone, if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll drop a link to all of the parts. Hopefully, we'll have that go-kart kit ready to sell by the time this podcast comes out. Um, Once again, my name is Jason at Go Power Sports. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, ride on. Good job, uh, oh, okay. Good job, good job. I get it. No, Jason, Jason gets first. I get it. <laughs> Dang, I don't know what to do with my hands. Okay, go ahead, dude. This is your...